Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm taking a look at the Miami Dolphins and going over whether or not they should trade Xavier Howard for Deshaun Watson. But before we get that topic, question for those of you in comment down below: Where do you want to see Xavier Howard end up? Even though I'm talking about Houston, is that where you want him to be? Do you want him to go to Arizona, Dallas, New England, LA, wherever it is? Comment down below, and you'll kind of you know hear my answer at the end. Getting straight into it, though, if you did not hear both of the two sides, Miami and Houston, have some trade complications. As we know, Deshaun Watson wants to trade, and the Texans finally admitted they are willing to trade, and then Xavier Howard on Miami's end has requested a trade. Obviously, these two would not swipe, swap straight up. You know, Xavier Howard's a cornerback, Deshaun Watson a quarterback. Yes, there's civil issues with Deshaun Watson outside of football, but giving the benefit of the doubt, just assuming that will clear up, this is some risk Miami is taking on, but just assuming that will all be okay, because obviously if it isn't, there will be no trade happening. But you guys know what I mean. Personally, Miami does have a lot of draft capital. They have three first-round picks over the next two years. They have Xavier and Howard. Obviously, I know about 10 of you on here are going to say, no, it's two a time. What are you thinking? I don't care. Tua's ceiling is probably a top 15 quarterback. I feel like Deshaun Watson's floor is like top six. So I'm definitely going to consider trading for Deshaun Watson. I still know, know there's going to be about 10 of you that are as biased as could be and say it's two a time. This is Deshaun Watson. We're talking about a top five quarterback in the league. I would consider if I'm Miami, I'm not saying I need to do this or have to do this. And Houston might say, screw Miami. We're not making a trade with them. Last time they traded with them with Laramie Tunsil, Miami just turned that trade into, you know, millions or just lots of picks. They benefited whatever you want to call it. They won 100%. Yeah, Houston has a starting tackle. Now they don't even have, the, they don't even have their quarterback that, that wants to be there now. Obviously, Miami... And Xavier Howard, I don't know how their relationship is, so I don't know if Xavier has any say in where they trade him off to. If I'm Xavier, I don't want to be in Houston at all, but it might be up to Miami. Houston will also be strapped for cash, so it's a sticky situation. It would be, but theoretically, if you can renegotiate, if you can restructure with some guys here and there, if I'm Houston, I would want, because I know Xavier Howard is not going to carry our team to you know wins. We've got struggling offense, and we almost alone on defense. If I was Houston, I would want Xavier Howard, probably three first round picks, and I'd probably want Tua just in the sense that we don't know what he is. I mean, the guy could be a top five quarterback for all I know. Don't take my word for him being top 15. That's just my opinion. I'm not going to say it's impossible for him to reach there, but that's just my opinion. I don't think he will. But that would still give Houston a guy that has potential. You don't know what you got. I don't know exactly. You need to get a kind of a crowded quarterback room at that point between Tyrod Taylor, Davis Mills. And Chua, a lot of different potentials, a lot of different playing styles there for a new head coach to really take on, new GM to take take on. But still, I would want Tua just for the you know wild card f aspect of him turning out to be this next best thing. To me, that sounds about right. You know, Xavier Howard's probably worth worth a little bit more than a first round pick. That gets Houston plenty of draft capital over the three years that they can use immediately to turn around the franchise. You know, they don't got to wait over the next four years to turn it around over the next two years. They could cash in all their capital, have a starting top three corner in the league, have someone in the quarterback room hopefully develop. I would do it if I was Miami, as in the sense that I would call and see if they're willing to listen to that offer. Obviously, it still wouldn't be that easy with the civil issues. But like I said, assuming that's fine, Deshaun Watson with an improving O-line, them drafting Liam Eikenberg, hopefully a healthy receiving core with familiar Wolf Fuller, uh, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Parker, Mike Kosicki, that's going to be one of the better offenses in the league. And yes, Miami's defense may fall from top 10 to top 11 because they're losing the best corner in the league, arguably top three. They're going to fall a good amount of rankings in defense, but adding Deshaun Watson may make you go from a top 20 offense to a top eight offense. You know, you might fall seven rankings in defense, but you might jump 12 rankings in offense. You know, it's kind of a counteract balancing thing that I would consider for Miami. I mean, look at the best situation, but like I said, if they have a good relationship with Xavier, hopefully they don't send him off to Houston where he's not gonna be able to compete. And I don't know what Xavier's you know, goal is. You know, If he's just looking for a team that could pay him, but if he's looking for a team that could pay him and to compete, or if he's just looking to compete, if he could, you know, he'd be with Miami still. So obviously he wants money, but does he care who he gets money from? That's an Xavier Howard question. I can't answer that for him. I'm curious to see how this turns out. Like I said, if I were both sides, I would possibly just communicate. 
I still think that Houston might say we don't want anything to do with Miami because of how bad you know the trades seem to turn out for them for the Larry Tunsil thing. But we'll just have to see how it goes. Maybe they'll look past their look. That was in the past. This is today. We got to get rid of Sean. You guys are one of the teams that have the most capital. You have one of the biggest names to trade for. I think Miami should look into it. Like I said, this is a franchise-altering quarterback. There's some risk to it. Go and bay or go home. But you got to get rid of this cornerback anyways. Why not make a show out of it? And like I said, you have Deshaun Watson that's healthy to your team. He will take your offense to probably a top eight offense. In your defense, it's not like it would be bad without Xavier Howard. You still got Byron Jones, Javon Holland, Jalen Phillips, Christian Wilkins, Emmanuel Agua, Andrew Van Ginkle, Jerome Baker. Of course, you'd be missing your bread and butter, your top star. But with Brian Flores is a good coach. I still think it'd be a solid defense with an amazing offense. Again, I think Miami should definitely, definitely reach out. They don't need to do this or have to do this, but they got to try to find a trade partner with someone, whether it be a team that's one piece away, like a Chargers or a Cardinals or a Vikings or a Titans, whether it be a team that's desperate for defense, like a, you know, Titans are kind of desperate, a Cowboys, a Raiders, or a team that just has a lot of capital, a Giants and Eagles. Miami is one of the teams that has the most capital. Maybe a Jets. I doubt they traded in the division. Or the fourth type of team. A wild card team that needs to jump their QB. And that would be Deshaun Watson. You know, I'd be talking about Aaron Rodgers if it was possible right now. But that's not going to be in the realm of likelihood. He's staying with Green Bay for now. But Deshaun, he still needs to leave. I get there's still off-field issues that Miami has to have concerns about. And he does have his history of being somewhat injured. But still, the talent is there, and I would consider it. Either way, they don't have to do it, but I would definitely just look into them as a partner. And you guys tell me, though, are you all for it? Bring Deshaun to Miami, send Xavier to Houston. There's a lot of variables to go into account, and I don't see this happening, but I could see this at least being an attempt. Like I said, you guys tell me, are you all for it, all against it? I'm referring back to the question today, where do you want to see Xavier end up? It might not be Houston. Do you want to see him end up in L.A., Arizona, Minnesota, Tennessee, Las Vegas, Dallas, Houston, you know, Philadelphia, um, New York, New York, one of the two teams. Whoever it may be, comment down below. I don't really have a preference. I'd like to see him kind of go to the Chargers if I had a pick. But either way, I'm not banking on anyone. I'm not seriously rooting for anyone. We'll just have to see how it turns out. Thank you for watching, guys. Tune in the morning.